Fidget Magoo, are you ready? It's time for Maths with Mr. Thomas. Chapter 10, lesson number 6, the determinant of a square matrix. What is the determinant of a square matrix? Well, it's a number that is associated with that matrix, which can then be calculated. The way you write it, well, the determinant of a square matrix A is denoted det A, or the modulus signs with A. So let's look, first of all, at the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix before we go into a 3x3 three three matrix. So let's say we have this 2x2 two two matrix here with the entries A, B, C, and D. The way you work out the determinant is by calculating A times D take away B times C. So we can really say then that det A, the determinant of matrix A, will be AD minus BC. Or, I suppose another way of writing that is you could have the matrix with the entries A, B, C, and D. And because you've got these lines either side of it, these would be the modulus lines, which means you want the determinant. And again, it's A, D minus B, C. Let's look at some examples. So example one, we've got the matrix 2, 1, 3, and 4, because we have these lines either side, they're the modulus lines, which mean we want to work out the determinant. So we just work out A times D, take away B times C. So we would do 2 times 4, and we're taking away 1 times 3. And if you work that out, you get 5. Woo! Simple as that. Example 2. Once again, we are wanting the determinant of this matrix, 3, 2, negative 2, and 1. We know we're doing A times D, so it's 3 times 1, and then you're taking away 2 times negative 2. And if you work that out, you would get 7! Brilliant. Well done. Example 3. Find two values of X such that the determinant of this matrix here with the entries X, 2X, 2X, and X plus 4 equal 1. So, what's the first thing that you would work out? Help me out. Determinant. Perfect, you would work out the determinant, and that is found by calculating AD degree BC. Good, so you would do the X times the X plus 4. Whoops. You would do the X times the X plus 4, and then you're going to be taking away the 2X times the 2X. If you multiply out the brackets and simplify that, well, that would give you X squared plus 4X. Take away 2 times 2 is 4, X times X is X squared. And from there, well, really... Number of x's, we've got the 4x, and really x squared take away 4x squared will give us the negative 3x squared. Going back to the question, we are asked to find the two values of x such that the determinant equals 1. This is the determinant, 4x take away 3x squared, so really we want to find the values of x when that equals 1. Dun dun dun! How could we do that? Perfect! If we take everything to one side and set it equal to a zero, then we could factorize to find the value of x. Because this is negative 3x squared, it'll probably add 3x squared to both sides, so it comes over here, and then subtract the 4x. Really, it just gives us the positive value for the x squared. So we get positive 3x squared. If we subtract 4x from both sides, we get negative 4x. And if we keep the one on the right, that'll be plus one. And on the other side, we'd be left with zero. From here, what did you say we do? Factorize. Brilliant. So if you factorize that, you would get 3x take away 1 bracket. x take away 1 equals 0, meaning the values of x you would end up with. Well, if 3x take away 1 was equal to 0, add 1 to both sides. 3x equals 1, divide by 3, and you would get x equals 1 third. Woo! And if x take away 1 was equal to 0, well, you know x would equal 1. So that would be your answer. That is working out the determinant of a 2x2 two two matrix. Let's move on now to work out the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix. So, how do you find the determinant of a 3x3 three three matrix? Well, let's say we've got this matrix here. It's a 3x3 three three matrix, and we have the entries 1, 2, 1, 4, negative 2, 3, 2, 1, negative 1. I've broken this down into different steps. So, the first thing you want to do is you want to multiply the first entry in the top row by the determinant of the 2x2 two two matrix remaining when the row and column containing that entry are deleted. Say so what? What that means is you take this first entry in the top row, so it's going to be 1 times, and if you delete that row and that column, other way around, that would be the row, that would be the column, but if you delete them, well, you're left with this 
two by two matrix. So you take that entry one and you would multiply it by the two by two matrix that is remaining. So it will be one multiplied by the determinant of that matrix. After you do that, well, what would step two be? Step two, you want to repeat that for the second entry in the top row. So the second entry in this top row is two. So you'd have two times. And once again, you would delete that row and you would delete that column. And you're left with this matrix here with four, three, two, negative one. So you'd work out the determinant of that and multiply it by that two. What do you then do? Step three, you repeat that for the third entry in the top row. So the third entry in the top row is one. If you delete that row and you delete that column, again, you're left with this two by two matrix. So you'd work out the determinant of that two by two matrix and multiply it by that one. Once you have done that, what you do is you would, dun, 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 step four, you add the answers in a plus minus plus pattern. Let's look at an example of that then. So example four, we have the modulus signs either side of this matrix, so we want to work out the determinant. So how do we do it? Well, the first thing we do is we take this entry, the first entry in the top row, one, and we would have one times, so it's gonna be one times, and it's the determinant of the matrix remaining when we delete that row and that column, and the matrix remaining would be this one. So we would have one times, and then the determinant of this matrix here would be written just like that. Remember, it's gonna be the plus minus plus pattern, so we're gonna have a takeaway, and let's just go back and get that. So we would have that, and then we're taking away two times, because two is the next entry, and it's two times, well, if we delete that row and that column, the matrix remaining would be four, three, two, and negative one. So that would give us the four, three, two, and negative one. And remember, it's the plus minus plus pattern, so we would then add on, and if we take this entry here, it's gonna be one times, delete that row, delete that column, and the matrix remaining would be that, with the four, the negative two, the two, and the one. Where do we go from there? Well, what you do next is you would just work out the determinants of those matrices. So we would have one times, and then to work out the determinant of this matrix, for the two by two matrix, remember it's AD, take away BC. So it'd be negative two times negative one, boom, 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 take away B times C, so take away three times one. We're then taking away two times, and the determinant of this matrix, AD, take away BC, would be four times negative one, take away three times two. And then we're adding on one times, and it's one times the determinant of this matrix. And for this matrix, it's four times one, take away negative two times two. You can go through that and start working it out so it works out as one times and uh, negative one, take away two times, this works out to be negative uh, 10, and you've got plus one times, and this works out to be eight. If you work that out, that will give you 27. So 27 will be the determinant of this three by three matrix. Next example. Example five, work out the determinant of this matrix here. So we've got three, negative two, zero, one, four, and five, zero, negative one, and two. So once again, what you do is you take that first entry in the top row, the three, and it's gonna be three times. Well, if you take that entry and delete the row and the column that's in, you're left with this matrix here with the four, five, negative one, and two. So it's gonna be the three times that matrix, with the four, the five, the next one, and the two. You're gonna have the plus minus plus pattern, so it's gonna take away, and then you've got negative, and then it's negative two. So it's take away negative two times, and again, delete that row, delete that column, and you've got the one, five, zero, two. So you would have the determinant of that matrix with one, five, zero, two. And again, the plus minus plus pattern, you're gonna have a zero times the determinant of that matrix. So you're taking this entry, delete its row, delete its column, and you would end up with the determinant of the one, four, zero, negative one. 
Working that out then, so you would have three times the determinant of this matrix. Once again, it's A times D, take away B times C. So four times two, take away five times negative one. You've got take away negative two, which has become plus two, and then it's times one times two, take away five times zero. And you've got plus zero times, well, if it's zero times the one times negative one, take away four times zero, well, again, because you multiply it by zero, it's just going to stay as zero. That will simplify to become three times, this works out to be 13, plus two times, this works out to be two, so it's three times 13, add two times two, which gives us 43. Woo! Example six, find the values of k for which the determinant of the three by three matrix A, which is k11, one, one, two, negative two, three, negative one, negative one, negative k is zero. So to work this out, well, we know we're wanting the determinant of this three by three matrix and to work out the determinant, well, that is going to be the first entry in the first row, K. It's gonna be K times the matrix that remains when you delete its row and column. So take that entry there, K, delete its row, delete its column, and you're left with the negative two, three, negative one, negative K. So it's K times the determinant of that. What do you do next? Well, you've got the plus minus plus pattern, so it's going to be take away, and the next entry is one. So it's take away one times, and if you delete its row and column, you would have this matrix remaining. So you've got the one, delete that row, delete that column, and you're left with the two, the three, the negative one, and negative k, as you can see here. After that, well, plus minus plus pattern, so you'd have plus, and the last entry in this top row is one, so it's gonna be one times, and the determinant when you delete its row and column. So that'll be the two, negative two, negative one, negative one. To work that out then, it's gonna be k times, you are just wanting to go through this and have negative two times negative k, take away three times negative one. You're gonna have take away one times, determinant of this matrix, again, AD, take away BC, two times negative K, take away three times negative one. And plus minus plus, so you'd have add on one times, two times negative one, take away negative two times negative one. Work that out and it becomes K times 2K plus three, take away one times negative 2K plus three, and plus, and in the brackets here, you would end up with negative four. Four. Multiply out the brackets, that will give you 2k squared plus 3k plus 2k, take away 3 and then take away 4. Simplify that and you get 2k squared plus 5k, take away 7. That is the determinant of this matrix, but if we look at the question, all the way up here, we're asked to find the values of k for which the determinant of the matrix is 0. So where do we go from there, Mary Lou? Perfect, we want to set that determinant equal to zero. So when the determinant equals zero, the 2k squared plus 5k take away seven would equal zero. And to solve that, Mary Lou, brilliant, you would factorize that. So factorizing it gives us 2k plus seven, bracket k take away one. And again, that equals zero. If 2k plus 7 was equal to 0, subtract 7 from both sides, so 2k would equal negative 7, divide both sides by 2, and k would equal negative 7 divided by 2. Or, if k take away 1 was equal to 0, add 1 to both sides, and k would equal 1. So, the question, find the values of k for which the determinant is 0, we've done that, found the determinant, set equal to 0, and we have these two values of k. Woohoo! Try these questions in the Unit 3 workbook. You're looking at pages 22 and 23. Check your answers as you go, and as usual, if you have any problems, give me a shout. Have fun. Bye.